All right, Shalom, once again, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Waha Raka, Kodash, double honor to the elders and the apostles, the great millstone, um, who and where I learned the truth from and taught you faithful life and thought the four winds continue pushing. This is going to be another sit down video um, dealing with, um, matter of fact, let's grab it. Dealing with a, a video of news I seen a few days ago. I'm just deciding to do the video now. It's from Click on Detroit, and it's also on other news medias. Um, it's, it says here, Haiti gang, gang leaders says missionaries will be killed if the mans aren't met. So these particular gang members, I'm going to play the video, but these particular gang members are, are demanding $17 million over there in Haiti. You got Levites demanding $17 million. Now, you know the condition of our people in that, in that country. All right, and you know what Esau Edom did over there with the French, how they robbed these people for everything they had. And and right now they got missionary, so-called Christian missionaries in, in, in their possession, and they're demanding $17 million. And if those demands aren't met, they're going to start, you know what? To the, and this is not nothing to do with, with inciting violence. I'm just going to... Um, um, I'm bringing out in this video, Lord willing, I'm going to bring out in this video how Christianity has destroyed our people. How how Esau Edom has come over here to the Americas and robbed our people of everything. And now they, they you know, and now they're complaining about missionaries being held, uh, um, being held, um, shit, for, for ransom. So, and I'm just going to play the video. The leader of the Haitian gang that kidnapped the 17 missionaries says they're going to start killing them if their demand of $17 million isn't met. That message came in the form of a video as Haitian security... And let me just mention this. Esau's a little bitch. Now he's crying. Oh, uh, why did you do this to my... Because our people are fed up with Christianity. Christianity has done nothing but destroy the Israelites, destroy the black and, and Hispanic communities. You devils know that very well, what Christianity has done. Right along with Islam. But Christianity is the same exact religion that Christopher Columbus brought over here to the Americas. Or the, 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 the Caribbean islands. The same exact religion that overthrew our people. You gave us Christianity and you stole everything from us. That wasn't a, a fair exchange. Christianity, which is nothing but a lie, for, for, for your life. So pretty much they, they fed you Christianity, they fed you a white Jesus, a Jesus Christ, and then what? They stole everything from you. So you traded off your life for, for Christianity. Christianity has done nothing but destroy our people. That's why niggas in the, in the church, it's a lack of for this rant, but I'm going to go into it. That's why niggas in these churches... Still believe that Esau Edom is their 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 friend. Still believe that Esau Edom could could could, could provide the the a uh, uh, a future a uh, aid or, or aid them in all their 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 ways. Our people believe that these devils can aid them and 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 help them uh, through these these um fucking you know through these times. All right, but nowhere in history has Esau Edom helped you, and he ain't going to do it. He's not going to do it. You know they come out speaking lies. They come out the womb speaking lies. Matter of fact, let's grab that right quick. Salak, I had that already set anyway. Psalms 58 and verse 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. Matter of fact, let's start at verse 2. Yea, in, in, in heart he work wickedness. He weighed the violence of your hands in the earth. So what has Esau Edom? What has Esau Edom been doing since he um taken over or or has been given the the rulership of the earth? Has not he conquered Haiti by by the sword by violence? Has not he conquered Santo Domingo of the Dominican Republic and the Caribbean islands, North, South, Central America, Canada by violence, Africa by violence, Europe by violence, Australia by violence? You, 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 you dummies just cannot see 
You dummies cannot see what this devil does to you right in front of your eyes. He raped your, your women. He took all your gold, all your resources, and this is your friend. That's what you call Stockholm Syndrome. You don't want to escape the clutches of your enemy. You don't want to come back to your power. That's why you're in the situation you're in. Right, so weigh means to contemplate. They contemplate the violence of, uh, okay, They he weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. Right, they contemplate violence uh, um, throughout the whole earth. That's how they got rich. Now they can sit over there and speak as if they're there. And I'm, I'm going to play the video. So like I had to go on this rant, but they're going to speak like they're the innocent. They always play innocent. These devils are fucking guilty. They sold us on cargo slave ships. The same people living in Haiti, they sold you uh, um, onto cargo slave ships. All right. They fed you the alligators. They, they, they fucking, man, they ripped open your women. With bayonets, pregnant women on top of that, with bayonets. This is the same shit that he used to conquer you, Christianity. So these dudes, um, of course, we ain't going to get carnal. We don't do that. We don't put our hands on nobody. But these dudes, these particular men that, that kidnapped or, or such and such to uh, kidnap these um, Edomites, now they're, they're uh, you know, they're actually... And like, you know what, they're actually like, they were like, wait a moment, Christianity, Christianity hasn't done, you know they thinking about that. Christianity hasn't done nothing for us, but, but destroy our families, destroy our land. It has, it's just a fact, it's just the facts. We're not, we're not in, in, um, inciting violence. We're not in, inciting violence here, so don't get that fucked up. We're just telling you the reality. All right? Verse 3, the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born. Speak of lies because Esau, Edom, is a wicked devil. He's been like that from his creation. From, from, from the creation. He's been a fucking devil, right? From, from the, um, the serpent uh, in the garden and the serpent now. All right? Th verse 4, they're poison and they all speak lies. They're fucking liars. Okay, let me read that again. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. And that's what Esau, Edom has done. That's what he continues to do, speak lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. Right, because every time they speak, it's, it's, it's like serpents. It's like fangs being punctured into your body. Once, the, once that Christianity penetrated our people back in 1492, that shit never came out. That poison is still inside of our people till this day. And it traveled through your whole body, but mainly your mind. All right? That's why you remain in the congregation of the dead, like Proverbs 21 and 16 say. Our people still remain in the congregation of the dead. Christianity is not going to save you. Come back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Right? That's our powers. That's Hebrew names. Not Jesus, not Jesus, not Yeshua, none of those names. Not Jehovah, none of that. But Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay? The wicked are strange from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the death adder that stoppeth her ears. Right? Now, let's play. Security forces and the FBI work to secure their release. Also today, the leader of the Ohio church that sent those missionaries to Haiti shared a message from the families held captive. Jason Colthorpe is live in the newsroom with what they had to say, Jason. Yeah, Kim, Christian Aid Ministries is holding a day of fasting and prayer. Fast. And as that message was shared today, it was clear what an emotional toll this crisis is taking. It's amazing how times of difficulty uh, have a way of bringing people together. Pray for these families. They're in a, in a difficult spot. Now, you hear the way he st speaks, right? It's smooth, man. Just what he did with the Native American Indians. It's fucking smooth. He'll throw words in there. You're going to hear it. Look at, look at the words he throws in there. Becoming dangerous with new Matter of fact, we'll play again. From the captors of those missionaries, if they don't get paid. 
The situation top of Let mind today as fires were set in the streets Thursday as workers continue to strike in response to the kidnappings. Thousands of miles away in Ohio, Weston Showalter of the Christian Aid Ministries also responded to the hostage situation with an emotional message from the families of those being held. We thank him that he is God and ask him to hear <laughs> our prayers and bring our families home. That, all right, you, you mentioned that uh, in times of difficulty, that's what binds people together. Bullshit. Mostly because this is a separated, uh, uh, divided people. You're not suffering. You're not going through the afflictions as, as those Haitians or Levites are going through um, in, in, in Haiti. You're not going through that. You're not going through that pain and suffering. So it's easy for you to say that. You're not living in difficulties. And we've never been uh, 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 cool with each other. Right? Talking about, yeah, it's uh, times of difficulty brings people together. Obviously, those dudes that kidnapped those missionaries, they obviously ain't agreeing with you. Right? Ain't no, ain't no coming together. Ain't no um, ruling side by side with Esau and the kingdom and these other nations. Right along, you Chinese, you Africans, I don't give a fuck. Ain't no getting, uh, uh, um, coming together with nobody. All right? And that's how they get you dumbass niggas to fall for it. Times of difficulty binds people together. Of course, you're going to have some dumbass niggas that is already, those, like I mentioned, those fangs are in you already. That poison that's traveling your body. I mean, that, those, that poison is in you already. You know, Esau released his fangs, put it on another Jake, boom, puts that poison in that Jake. And they all think of like that Stockholm Syndrome, oh, love master, love master. Right, anyway, Psalm 73 and verse 5. Verse 4. For there is no bands in their death, but their strength, but their strength is firm. Alright? There is no bands in their death, meaning they're living a, a carefree life. Esau Edom is living a carefree life. You're not going through what um, our people are going through. We know why they're in the position they're in. We know why they go through what they go through because they broke the law, statute, commandments of the Heavenly Father. Also, too, what do they practice in Haiti that the Lord fucking hates? It's witchcraft. They practice uh, witchcraft. All in the Caribbean islands, either they practice Santeria, voodoo, or some type of witchcraft. Right over here in America. That's why you niggas are going through what you're going through. Because you practice that voodoo. Right? Psalm 73 and verse 5. They are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. You're not in trouble like, 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 like them. You're not plagued like us. You're not in the ghetto like us. Oh, I got a black friend. I don't, get, I don't give a fuck. Ain't nobody black. Oh, I got a black friend. You know, they always say, yeah, I got a black friend. Nobody's black. All right? If you're a so-called black or a Negro, you go back to the tribe of Judah, Levi, or Benjamin, or one of the 12 tribes. Nobody's so-called, uh, nobody is black. Therefore, pride compass, compasseth about them, um, compasseth them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. Yeah, they got the riches of the world. That's what it means to have that fatness. They got the riches of the world. How do you get it? By rape, rob, and murder. Unjust gains. That's how you got America. That's how you got the whole world. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. Right? Right, because they're proud. They're fucking arrogant, proud bastards. Is God. Families of those being held. We thank him that he is God and ask him to hear our prayers and bring... We, ask, uh, we thank him that he is God and ask him to hear our prayers. His name is not God. God is not a name. It's a title. Then he don't hear your prayers because you're not an Israelite. See, you gotta be. This thing is, to, is you devils are not spiritual people, man. You're not spiritual people. First of all, you gotta be an Israelite. Your C line gotta go back to one of the twelve tribes. This thing ain't about accepting everybody. 
This is um. Dang, I had like twenty precepts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Man. Ah, oh, man, let's get the one in Proverbs twenty-eight. The Lord doesn't hear your prayers. You're not an Israelite. He's not going to hear your prayers. All right? You were created to be wicked. That's who you are, Esau. You devils are fucking wicked. Proverbs, tw ch uh, Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 9. He that turneth... Let's start at verse 8. He that by usury and unjust gain increaseth his substance. That's what Esau Edom has done. All right? He shall gather it for him that will pity the poor. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. So, you're, you're, oh, oh God, help us, God. Help us bring these missionaries back home, God. He's not listening to you. He's not listening to you. That's another way for you to go, you know what, to go destroy our people in Haiti. You devils don't have enough of bloodshed. You continually shed blood every every minute, second, hour of the day. You devils commit to, to uh, atrocities. You're committed to, 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 to uh, uh, doing some type of harm to our people. Right? So the, uh, and plus, when it says... Uh, he that turneth away his ear from hearing the law. Esau Edom doesn't hear the law. He don't follow the Bible. He don't follow the law, statutes, commandments. He don't keep land Sabbaths. He's not the one to telling you. To, he's not the one telling you uh, to put pork down. We are. I'm telling you to put pork down. We're telling you to put lobster down. We're telling you to put those white Jesus down. Those idols down. Esau Edom ain't gonna do that. He's not the one doing that. We are. That's another way he he, he he finds um that's another way um um uh, that that he's hateful in that particular way he's hateful in that way just by telling you not to eat just by telling you to eat pork crabs shrimps lobsters scallops whatever he's telling you to eat all these kind of abominable foods which the Bible rejects but he meanwhile he's using the Bible to defend what happened to those missionaries in Haiti. Even his prayer shall be an abomination. So these devils don't follow the law, statute, commandments of the Bible. They don't follow the law, statute, commandments of the Holy Scriptures. They're not going to do it. It's not in them to do it. Verse 10. Whoso causeth the righteous to go astray in an evil way, he shall fall himself into his own pit. Yeah, trying to make people consent to your fucking policy, your, your ways, your so-called future plans. Right, ain't gonna be no future for Esau. You're going into slavery. All right? You're going into slavery. I seen a billboard today, right? I was going to work. I seen a billboard. It said, we built, we're gonna, there's no need for future because uh, the future is now. We built the future now. You see how crafty these devils are? These devils actually believe or try to convince us that they're not going into captivity. They're actually trying to convince us, which is funny as all hell, that they're not going to go into captivity. But they are. But they are going to go into captivity. All of them are going into slavery. You're going into slavery. It doesn't matter what you say. You devils are going into slavery. All right? Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 16. Therefore all they... Let's start at verses speaking about our people being chastised by the Heavenly Father. That the Most High sent these, these, these plagues and these curses upon his people for not obeying his law, statute, commandments. And he told you what was going to happen. He's going to give you into the hands of your enemy. And sure enough, and lo and behold, here it is. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 15. Why cries thou for thine affliction? Thy sorrow is incurable. For the multitude of thine in iniquity, because thy sins were increased, I have done these things unto thee. So what? That's a great evil that the Lord brought upon His people. In the churches, they in the churches they tell you, oh God doesn't do evil. 
Oh, he does. He creates evil and he creates good. He kills and he makes alive. I have done these things unto thee. So Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai has done these things unto the 12 tribes. The Israelites, by allowing Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, to roll on us. Verse 16, Jeremiah 30, chapter 30, and verse 16. Therefore, all they, which all they is referring to Esau and these different nations, the other nations, heathen, non-Israelite nations. All they that devour thee shall be devoured. All thine adversaries, which we have enemies on earth. That's why they're being held captive right now. Talking about kidnapping. You fucking devils kidnapped us off the west coast of Africa and brought us over here to the Americas and scattered us throughout the whole uh, planet. Throughout the whole earth. The four corners of the whole earth. Right? You kidnapped us. You stole us. The fuck out of here, man. Like I said in the beginning, this is not no video to incite violence. I'm not inciting violence. This is just the harsh reality that, and the conditions that our people are living through, are going through. And, um, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. So all you Edomites are going into captivity. This is a future prophecy. This has not happened as of yet. The future is not now. You know, the saying goes, what, the near future or maybe five years, four years from now. Look, when the Most High puts you devils in chains, that's it. You're not going to escape that. That's it. And you're going to be exterminated after a thousand years. All right? You're going to be exterminated after a thousand years. All right? There will be no mercy. Fuck out of here. Shall go into every one of them shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. Who spoiled, who robbed, um, who robbed the, the Haitians of their, their gold, of their resources? Who put them in that position of being poor and afflicted? The fucking white man did. Started with fucking Christianity. This devil has fucked our people up and he's begging for mercy. The fuck out of here. All right. Every one of them shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. You see? And what? The Most High gave us for a prey under, uh, uh, into the hands of Esau and Edom. That's why when you go into the book of Psalms 17 and verse 13, it says what? Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Disappoint who? Esau and Edom. This is a prayer, I believe it was King David. Right, a prayer of King David. Right? Or, um. You know, praying to the, for the Most High to, to, to deliver him out of the hand of his enemies. Right? But this is also dealing with a future prophecy because what the house of David or the tabernacle of David, uh, of David, excuse me, of David, of David is being uh, built up right now. And what? The, we're praying for the Heavenly Father in Yahweh Shai to deliver us out of the hands of these devils. We're praying for the Heavenly Father to disappoint these devils. Every crafty device they have and agenda they have against the, the Israelites, we're praying for the Heavenly Father to disappoint these devils. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down. And we need salvation. And guess what? If this, shit, if this world continues to be uh, ruled over by Esau, there will be no flesh to be saved, like it says in Matthew, the 24th chapter. The, uh, the 24th chapter. These devils have destroyed everything. You can't raise a family in, in societies. American society, Haitian society, African societies, Australian societies, European societies. Mid-Eastern societies. You cannot raise families here. South American societies. Central American societies. Canada. 
Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down. What's the Lord eventually is going to do? He's going to take these devils out of power. When Yahweh shall returns in those chariots, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. So who's the Lord's whooping stick? Why do you think this is happening to you Haitians? Because the Most High or, or, or allows Esau, Edom, or Satan, Esau, Edom, to what? Devour you. He allows Esau, Edom, to rob you. He allowed Esau, Edom, to rob the Native American Indians. What do they got coming up next month? Thanksgiving Day. The slaughtering of, of countless Gadite North American Indians. But Esau Edom declares that has been declared. When was Thanksgiving established? I don't know. But as a, a national holiday, a federal and national holiday to what? To commemorate the killing of our people. This devil is laughing in your face. But meanwhile, you got our people celebrating Thanksgiving. But that was a day that the Native American Indians were slaughtered. All right, I ain't going to play no more of the, uh, the video with that Edomite. But with that, shallow warm. There's so many other. I wanted to bring out Psalms 55, um, Matthews 11 and 12. The kingdom of heaven suffered violence and a violent take about force. That was dealing back then with the Romans. But what? The kingdom of heaven is suffering violence underneath this, this uh, new revived Roman Empire. That we are suffering violence underneath these devils. Okay? Go into Genesis 27 and 40, the sword. All right, Esau's blessing was to, 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 uh, to conquer the earth with the sword. All right, Shalom.